As we are all aware, the coronavirus is causing much sickness and death and leading to widespread anxiety. For many of us, this has been a very stressful year. And in some cases, it has led to high levels of anxiety and depression. Things have changed. We have missed regular contact with people. Our support systems have not been as strong as they used to be. Loneliness is more widespread. The increased sense of isolation has led to an alarming increase in gender-based violence. We are also very aware that xenophobic violence has again raised its ugly head in Durban. In addition to the social constraints there have been financial pressures. The lessening of income, perhaps the loss of a job. The increase in mental illness, particularly among the youth, is a matter of great concern. And so it is with these experiences that we accompany Jesus to the cross. Jesus, described by the prophet Isaiah, as a suffering servant, suffered both physical and mental anguish. The crowd that welcomed him into Jerusalem yesterday with palm branches would later in the week call for his crucifixion. He was abandoned by his disciples and on the cross we hear him crying out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We are people of faith and hope. We believe that God suffers alongside us and calls us to be co-workers with the Holy Spirit in restoring health and well-being to all peoples. In his death and resurrection, Jesus opens a way for new life for all the earth to emerge. The darkness and suffering, the shame, the humiliation, leads to the dawning of the light, restoration, wholeness, and healing. In the giving up of his life, Jesus brings freedom for all. God calls us to be whole, let us face our loss and grief. We need one another. We need a sense of community. Let us listen to one another and serve one another as Jesus would wash the feet of his disciples. In treating one another with kindness, let us reach out in compassion to those most in need offering comfort and support. And let us continue to remember to engage in practices that keep others and ourselves safe. Social distancing, wearing of our masks, and sanitizing regularly. I offer some prayers, first offered by Anglican Archbishop for us to pray, I offer them in a meditative way. There will be pauses in which we can reflect and offer our own prayers as we ask for God's help at this time. Loving God, people are frightened and many people are isolated. People are sick and vulnerable people are dying. We notice how little control we have over what really matters. And that what really matters is loving concern. 
So we asked for your comfort and support for those who are frightened at this time. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us, Lord Jesus Christ. So we reflect for a few moments. Heal us from our pride, which can claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Lord Jesus Christ, stand by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Lord Jesus Christ, stand by our side. Be with those who have died from this virus. May they be at rest with you in eternal peace. May they have eternal rest. Be with families who have lost loved ones. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations in the world, in Africa and Southern Africa. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of all people they seek to serve. We pray that churches will be ongoing communities of welcome and support so that some they will have, people will have someone to call on when they are in need. Let us also use this opportunity as an opportunity to slow down, reflect, and to look at our neighbors in a new way, to rethink our relation to nature, and to be awake for the need to change the way we live. Join in in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So we offer these prayers in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. <laughs>